Hi, welcome to The Hub Show. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the top trail bikes for 2021. Lauren's gonna be having a look at what you've been saying over in the community tab. We've got Neil's mystery picture round. Plus, we've got some brand new technology from SRAM. We're also gonna be looking at the pictures and videos you've been uploading to social media. Let's get stuck in. Now, there are some fantastic trail bikes available if you can get your hands on them for 2021. And I've picked five of my favorites. Let's take a look. First up, we have this carbon frame beauty, the Cube Stereo 150 C62 race. It's got a super lightweight, full carbon frame with a top end suspension platform for outstanding traction and control. Now let's take a closer look at its components. It's got a 160 mil travel RockShox Lyric fork and a RockShox Super Deluxe Select Plus rear shock. It's a tried and tested suspension combo that's good to take on the toughest all mountain trails. Now SRAM's GX Eagle 12 speed group set offers smooth, crisp and accurate shifting and those Magura MT30 hydraulic disc brakes give you all weather confidence inspiring stopping at the touch of a lever. Next up, we've got the 29 inch wheel Ragley Big Wig, and this thing is made for long days in the hills, rapid single track sessions, and all mountain epics. Like the rest of the Ragley range, this thing is built for fun. It features a chromoly frame that's trail optimized with modern geometry, boost dropout spacing, and superb components. Let's look at those components. It's got a RockShox Revelation suspension fork with 140 mm of travel, a Shimano SLX 12 speed group set with a wide range in 10 by 51 teeth cassette, and powerful Shimano Dior hydraulic disc brakes. Finishing it off is a nuke proof Neutron boost wheel set and Maxxis Minion tubeless ready tires. Back to our next full sus choice, and we have the Nuke Proof Reactor 290 ST factory carbon bike. Look at this thing. This is a limited edition, shorter travel option of the Reactor 290 carbon, and it's got 130 mil travel up front and 125 mil at the rear. So it climbs quickly, but can still soak up the worst that the trail has to throw at it on the way back down. The light and tough full carbon frame is backed up by smooth performing Fox factory suspension and it's got that slick shift in Shimano XT 1x12 gear set. Right, on to the next pick and it's the NS Define 132. It's designed around a top end carbon frame with a superb suspension platform. It's got a high end drivetrain and excellent finishing kit. Component highlights include 140 mm travel from a Fox Performance 34 suspension fork and a Fox Float Performance DPS three position shock to keep your back end track in with stability. SRAM's GX Eagle 12 speed drivetrain will haul you up the steepest climbs and the SRAM Guide T hydraulic disc brakes will stop you on the way down with zero issues. Finally, we have this Commensal Meta HT AM Ride 27.5. It's a modern hardtail with updated geometry for dominating the most aggressive enduro trails. Built and equipped to be a true all-rounder, it's plus size 27.5 tires, 160mm of travel, RockShox 35 Gold RL fork, and SRAM SX Eagle 1x12 speed drivetrain are performance parts that are durable and long-lasting. Let us know which one you love the look of down in the comment section below. This is the part of the show where we take a look at what you've been saying over on the community tab. The first question we asked you guys was, was your first mountain bike a hardtail, a full suspension or rigid? 71% of you said hardtail, 11% said full suspension, 17% said rigid and 1% of you said, I can't remember. And let's take a look at what you've been saying in the comments. Steve Outdoors said, fully rigid back in the 90s, now I ride hardtail. Smooth Operator said, it was rigid bike bought in the market for around $70. Worst bike ever, but when I was a kid, I loved it. I did on that bike more than 2,000 kilometers, and after one year, the frame snapped in half. Hadil Kalani said, my first was a hardtail, and most of my bikes are hardtails. 
Andy Locke said, I still ride a 90s rigid rally, retro modded with modern components, much cooler than a gravel bike. And to round this one up, Kyle Goodson said, rigid, full suspension and now hardtail. The next question we asked was, is internal cable routing important to you? 42% of you said yes it is, 28% of you said only for some things, and 30% said no, not at all. And let's take a look at what you said in the comments. A lot of the comments seem to be like this, but Mike Nurse said, as long as the dropper routing is, then I'm happy. Dave Eastcott said, having external brakes is good for maintenance. Battlecry MTB said, it looks better, but is way more annoying to work with unless you have tube and tube routing and never internally route a rear brake. It's just hassle I don't need. And to round this one up, Seth Eater said, if it is done sloppy, it looks bad, but if it's done well, it looks mint. And the final question we asked you guys was, have you ever been bikepacking? The options were yes, no, no, but I would like to, and bike what? 9% of you said yes, 33% of you said no, 50% said no, but I would like to, and 8% said bike what? And now let's look at the comments. Keith Westwood said, hi CRC, couple of trips out last year to test my kit out, many more planned for this summer or autumn, get it right and it's pure heaven. Douglas Young said, bought a gravel bike to do some real trails, just waiting for better weather. I've done a ton of hiking and camping and will be cool to cover some big distance on the bike. Theo Jones said, I prefer long days out, not camping. Trail Pimp said, I am too scared. Let us know what you're scared of in the comments. We'd be intrigued to know. And to round this one up, Dan Pratt said, did the Trans Pennine Trail with a friend a few years back. Four days of bike packing fun. I'd recommend bike packing to anyone. Hey everybody, what is happening? Just interrupting the Hub Show because we are out filming SRAM GX Eagle Access. It's their brand new wireless drivetrain. You can see the full video by clicking up there. But for now, I wanted to ask you a quick question. Do you think GX Eagle Access and more affordable drivetrains like this are going to spell the end for cable-based systems? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Over to Lauren. And now it's time for the mystery picture round. Here's three new pictures we want to see if you can identify. Let us know what you think they are in the comments below. Right, this is the part of the video where we take a look at the pictures and videos you've been uploading to social media using hashtag CRC Hub, hashtag Chain Reaction Cycles. First up, we've got Levi underscore ML and their comments are hard to I, hardtail, I love the look of this thing. Complete with the Onza tires, the tan wall tires, love the look of that thing, especially against that graffiti wall. Son of a Sultan, Gava Forest, clean again after a weekend trying out the new tires. So much faster through corners and booms now. Magic Mary is true to her name and likes to ride hard. So much traction, 100% grin factor. What a Good looking bike. Vita Siscarp with those brand new tires. Nice one, son of a sultan. Cheers for uploading that. On to the next, and we've got the Alex Duggan. Fresh DMR, DMR bikes, oi oi saddle, Maxis rear tire, and rapid racer rear guard. Love this one. We've got an action shot, and it's a raggly hardtail being sent off a drop. Thanks for uploading that one. Right, and finally, we've got a video. Oh, look at this. We've got a hashtag trail dogs, love a trail dog. Okay, so we've got some rocks, we've got some roots. There's the trail dog coming through at speed. And there's the rider, boosh, off he goes. Love that, shredding his local trails with his trail dog. There you go, that's another episode of The Hub Show. Thank you, as ever, for getting involved. If you want to answer any questions from today's show, click the link in the description. And to get involved in next week's show, hit the community tab on this channel. Have a wonderful weekend. Take it easy. Big knees. I love the big knees. Bike what? <laughs> all right, all right, everyone. We're out. To <laughs> Penang Curry. <laughs> Penang what? Me and Neely, Neely baby, Neely baby. <laughs> Is it turn eternal?
Eternal Cable. <laughs> Neil's mystery picture and Neil's oh. jingle. <laughs> We've got Neil's fantasy picture round. <laughs> Trail Pimp said, I am too scared. Let us know what you're scared of in the comments. Bears? Wolves? <laughs> Anoraks? 